If I had a dollar for every time I saw somebody post in a support group talking about how they went on a trip, they went on a vacation, they drank alcohol, and now they're upset that they didn't lose weight, even though they tracked all of their food and stayed in a calorie deficit, yeah, I would be loaded. Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantabulous weight loss journey and hopefully you'll come along for the ride. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a post that I see a lot. And I think that people are just not well educated on how alcohol affects the body and specifically how it affects weight loss. So I'm gonna throw this one out here and all of the people who love to have like their nightly nightcap drink or they drink all the time and they're like, whatever, I account for it in my calorie deficit and I still lose weight. I don't know what you're talking about. There are a large number of people who can't do that. And a lot of it is going to depend on your body and your metabolism and also how much weight you have to lose. But if you are tracking all of your calories and also drinking alcohol, I think that it's important that you understand you are setting yourself back. Whether you are someone who can account for those calories or not, whether it doesn't phase you at all, you are actually setting yourself back. Because for every drink that you drink, it can affect you anywhere from one day to three days after you have that drink. Now, it doesn't compound itself. So if you have two drinks, it doesn't, you know, space out to six days or anything like that. But if you have one drink, then it slows down your metabolism and your body needs time to rev back up. So what does that mean? Well, it means if you're on a weight loss journey that you're holding yourself back essentially because your metabolism is going to be ramping up and then you're gonna drink alcohol and bring it down and then you're going to want to lose weight at the end of that week. But it may take your body time to rev back up. So I think that people don't understand this um, and it leads to confusion about, well, I accounted for the calories Yes, and that's very good, and you should absolutely do that. It just means that you may not see weight loss in that week, or you may not see as much as you could have seen if you decided not to drink alcohol. For me, personally, I have chosen not to drink alcohol. I am on a weight loss journey, and I don't want anything to hold me back. But other people have a tendency to be more attached to alcohol and in in complete transparency I have never understood this um some people it's like they can't have fun or they can't have a good time or they can't relax without having an alcoholic beverage and I'm not saying anything in judgment of those people I'm just saying that that is a different mindset than me personally and I want to be transparent about that so if you are one of those people that can't have fun at a party unless you're drinking please don't come for me in the comments I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm just saying that I personally don't understand that and if you've been on my channel for very long, you know that transparency is one of the things that I pride myself on. So I just want to be clear about that, but don't come for me in the comments. So what should you do? Well, hydration is going to be key. If you are going to have a drink or two or a few, first things first, go watch my video on drinking alcohol while on a GLP-1 medication because not everyone can and some people become violently ill even if it's just one shot. So definitely check that video out first. The second thing you can do is make sure that you're hydrated. If you become dehydrated, it's actually going to make you feel worse. And your body is not going to be able to bounce back, right, to get that metabolism back up and running after you slowed it down with an alcoholic drink. So keep that in mind. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is to give yourself grace, right? 
understand that you made a choice, you made an adult choice to have a beverage, and that's perfectly fine. But it also means that you can't turn around and beat yourself up at the end of the week if you don't lose any weight, because you essentially did it to yourself. And I'm not saying that to be mean, I'm not saying that to be cruel, but it is something that I think a lot of people don't keep in mind, and then they want to get down on themselves and put themselves down when they don't lose weight. And you just need to keep in the back of your mind, hey, I decided to have a couple of drinks, I need to remind myself, hey self, I had a couple boozy beverages this week, and I may not see movement on the scale, and that's okay. And you might see it the following week, right, if you're staying on track. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is the more you drink, <laughs> the more your judgment is going to go out the window, right? We all know this. How many times have you had a couple of drinks and decided to just smash a cheeseburger or smash 20 ring wings, right? Like, it happens. So make sure that you have a plan before you have a couple of drinks on what you're going to be eating and when because you'll be less likely to make an unhealthy choice, right, which could then cause you digestive upset later. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs up. And consider subscribing because I'd love to have you along for the ride. If you're looking for a positive only support group where you can ask your questions and not be bullied by other people, please take a look at the um, description box to find the link for our support group. And as always, be kind, rewind.